How many know that justice is not blind? We live in a country that teaches us that justice is blind. Stay tuned for this important message. The Prince of Darkness is bringing his full wrath in these last days, and Overcoming the Dragon Ministry stands ready to defend the gospel and overcome his lies with the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Brother Skinner relentlessly marches forward through enemy lines, tearing down Satan's strongholds and setting the captives free. Your investment in this ministry, large or small, will be rewarded in this life and the life to come. God bless you. I was interested uh, to find out um, that what in this country we call Lady Justice. There's a statue here in this country with a um, <clears throat> in the United States with a blindfold and scales and but this same statue is in other countries. It's all around the world. It's everywhere. And uh, some of them add a sword, some don't. But most of them are all the same as far as the blindfold and the scales. And I did some research on this, and I found out it goes all the way back to uh, the Oracle uh, of Delphi which goes back to divination. Um, it goes back to the book of Acts, where uh, we read about the woman with the spirit of divination. So, this Lady Justice is really um, a statue that has to do with divining or divination. In fact, when you look it up, it actually is a Greek goddess uh, that has to do with divine order or divine law. So in other words, the United States and other countries around the world consider their law to be divine. Um. It would be one thing if our justice system uh, was blind in the sense that it only recognized the Constitution of the United States and based all judicial decisions, uh, judgments based on, uh, on the Constitution, on law. However, it is not. In fact, we just watched as the director of the FBI, James Comey, uh, used his own judgment. He's uh, turned his eyes away, uh, completely blindfolded himself from what the Constitution says and what our law says in the United States. And without question treated this criminal, um, Hillary Clinton, uh, different than any other citizen of the United States would have tre been treated. Now, what I learned about this, uh, this goddess, this Greek goddess, this Greek mythology, is that really, it's not really a woman at all. It's not Lady Justice at all. In fact, it really is a representation of Apollo. And going even deeper, you find out that Apollo is actually Apollyon. Do you remember that verse of Scripture in the book of Revelation? Apollyon means destroyer, and that is a name for Satan. So that statue that's supposed to represent justice in the United States and around the world 
is actually a statue of Satan, people. Are you listening? This very well could become the image of the beast that is going to be worshipped. It could be. I'm not saying it is. But it also, think about this, this statue also has to do with the python spirit and, get this, the dragon. Are you listening? It has to do with the oracle. In other words, the law that you and I see called the Constitution of the United States and all the laws that are based upon the Constitution is not what we really go by in this country. In fact, we don't have legislation based upon the Constitution in this country. We have interpreters. Are you listening? We have those that interpret the law. Are you listening? Now, even the scripture says that the scripture is not given of any private interpretation. But now in Washington, we have those that interpret the law and they even redefine the law to show favor. So, I would like to submit to you, brothers and sisters in Christ and men and brethren, any, anybody out there that has an ear to hear. So this is not just a message to the brethren. This is not just a message to God's people. This is a message to every, anybody, men and brethren. I would like to submit to you, for the record, for Washington, D.C., for the Congress, I would like to submit to you, for the President of the United States of America, make no mistake about it, justice is not blind. No, no, no. Justice will be served. Maybe not in this life. But that day is coming when every single criminal, every offender, everyone that is guilty will stand before the great white throne judgment of Almighty God, and they will receive justice. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That day's coming. When they will be resurrected, if they're dead, they'll be resurrected to damnation. This is nothing to play with. This generation thinks that justice is blind? No, it's not. Just because the United States is under the spirit of Python, the spirit of the devil, and going by the oracles, the sayings of man, the interpretation of man. Now, folks... You've got to understand what's going on here. That same spirit that was in that woman we read about in the book of Acts that had the spirit of divination that brought her masters much gain is exactly what's going on in Washington. Are you listening? It's all about Donald Trump bringing gain to the corporations. It's all about tax cuts for the elites. It's all about making more money for the super rich. Donald Trump, make no mistake about it, he's in the White House to help the rich get richer. 
And his, he's already proving it. That's why he's there. Yeah, he may do a few little things along the way that may make people think he's actually in there for all the citizens of the United States. But overall, look, I watched myself as Melania Trump with the queen of a double, a double uh, of Jordan, the queen of Jordan. I watched as they went to a school in Washington, D.C., and they were so uncomfortable. I mean, so uncomfortable. I mean, Melania Trump could not relate to those young people. She couldn't relate to anybody in, the, in that school. In fact, I don't think she wanted to go. I'm sure that Donald Trump, and they set that up and threw her under the bus. I'm, I'm sure that's what she's thinking. I've been thrown under the bus. I don't want to do this photo op. But she could not even relate. You could see it. I mean, she was like a cat in, uh, you know, in a house with 15 dogs. I mean, she, she was just uncomfortable. Folks, the rich are getting richer. The poor are getting poorer. That's not going to change. That is not going to change into this administration. Just as the spirit of divination brought much gain to their masters. Now, do you remember what happened in the scripture? It says that they brought Paul in Silas and they brought them before the magistrate. In other words, they brought them before the legal system. They brought them before the judicial system. And the judicial system rent their clothes and they commanded Paul the Apostle, listen, to be stoned. To be beaten, I mean. Not stoned. Beaten. And this is all under the spirit of Python. This is under all under the spirit of the serpent, under the spirit of the dragon or the devil, if you please. Under Apollyon, Apollyon. So, this is where we find in the scripture where at midnight they were in prison because they had become imprisoned because of this. And they were praying, and then they began to praise God at the midnight hour. This happened, folks, all because that Paul the Apostle cast out a spirit of divination. The same spirit that is behind the statue and what we call in this country, or what they call in this country, Lady Justice. Is anybody out there listening to me? You might as well have a statue of a serpent, folks. That's what it might as well be. Lady Justice might as well be a statue of of a serpent, or let's go a step further, a statue of a beast. That's what a serpent is considered, right? A snake is considered a beast. Now, folks, this is not just the United States. This is not just an isolated thing. This statue is all over the world. It's in several countries, if not all countries. I mean, it's everywhere. It's in China. It's everywhere. They all use the same statue. Maybe a little bit different, but I mean, it's the same. It goes back to the same Greek goddess. And by the way, this goddess was over art. This goddess was over music. This goddess was over uh, uh, money, everything. It seemed like this god it was just over everything. Now, 
I'm going to tell you, folks, you and I as believers in Christ, we're not under a lady justice. We're not under a pullion, you and I. Amen? Now, folks, our judicial system, our Congress in, in this country, they require... Just to be the President of the United States, you're required to swear an oath. Think about this for a minute. Anybody that comes in to, uh, before Congress that is subpoenaed or not even subpoenaed, just anybody that comes in before Congress has to swear an oath before they speak. They have to be sworn in that they will tell the truth before Congress. Are you listening? Before the judicial committee, they must be sworn in. That's against scripture. The Bible says do not swear. Do not swear oaths. In our country, it happens every day. Have you ever thought about if you was to be Uh, summons to court or if you ever thought if you ever had to go to court did you ever thought about the fact that you got to swear on a bible are you willing to do that because i'm not what are you going to do when it comes to the point where they require you to put your hand on a bible and swear that you're going to tell the truth folks listen you and i are going to be faced with this are you ready to be faced with this are you ready to Not swear an oath or to swear that you are going to tell the truth. So help you God. Are you ready for God to vindicate you? Now listen, there's nothing in the uh, Constitution that says that you have to uh, swear on a Bible. That's their God. Are you listening? That's not the God of heaven. When you swear on that Bible, you're not swearing on the Bible as far as the God of heaven. No, you're not. You're doing that in mockery of God. Satan loves it every time somebody swears on the Holy Bible because Jesus said, don't do it. Now I understand that this is going to offend you folks and the gospel does that. The gospel does offend. The cross, offend. it's an offense to the world. And I'm not afraid to tell you the truth. Oh, Brother Joseph, if I don't do it, they'll, they'll, you know, I'll get in trouble. I'll go to jail or something will happen to me if I don't swear on that Bible. I would be more concerned about what God might do with you. Don't fear them that can destroy your body and then afterwards they can do nothing with you. Fear him and can destroy your body and your soul. It's, you folks, it's time for somebody to stand up to the lies of this country. It's time to stand up against this wicked, demonic cabal that's taken over this country, that's taking away our constitutional rights. I do not have to swear on a Bible. I do not have to swear to anybody. Are you listening? In fact, under the Constitution of the United States, I don't even have to sign a piece of paper. Every time you sign something, you're signing away your rights. Did you know that? There is nothing in the Constitution of the United States of America that tells you you have to sign anything. You and I are willingly, voluntarily giving away our home, our land, everything. Everything, folks. We're giving it all away when we sign on the dotted line. I hope you understand what I'm telling you here. We've been under the illusion that we've been living in a country with justice for all. There's no justice for all. No. Not for the elite. No. They don't, they don't get justice. 
but they will. They will. Oh yeah, let them let them worship their beast. Let them worship Satan. Let them worship the dragon. Let them let them continue in their injustice. Let them continue in their corruption and their hypocrisy that's going on right now in Washington. Let them worship their beast. But you and I, we cannot be a part of it. We must come out from among them and be separate. Hallelujah. Oh yeah, I, I know. Brother Joseph, do you realize what you're saying? I absolutely understand what I'm saying. I, for one, am a constitutionalist. I believe in the Constitution. Folks, I don't believe the law is supposed to be interpreted I don't believe it's supposed to be legislation from the bench. I think we have laws for a reason in this country. Are you listening? And for some reason, Apollyon is now sitting in the bench of justice. And his name means destroyer. Destroyer. It's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse, folks. The innocent will be proven guilty without justice. And the guilty will go away free. Give us Barabbas. Huh? Give us Barabbas. Give us the, the this man that is a murderer, guilty of his crime. What should we do with this innocent man? What should we do with this man that is innocent? This one that Pilate washed his hands of. Crucify him. Why? What has he done? Crucify him. Away with him. Why? Isn't that the question, folks? Why? Because this is Satan's world. Satan, Apollyon, is the god of this world. There's no justice in America. No, you don't get justice in America, folks, unless God Almighty intervenes. Are you listening? Unless God intervenes. Let's face it, folks. There's not a person on this planet, if you understood what justice is, you wouldn't want it for yourself. You want justice. Mercy. Amen. We don't want justice. If we all got justice, we get what we deserve. We don't want justice. We want mercy. And there's injustice in this world. Because Apollyon is the god of this world. If somebody does you wrong, you should not want justice for them. But let me tell you this. Do we want to see Hillary Clinton put in jail? We at least want to see her tell, tell the truth. I think if Hillary Clinton would have just told the truth, what she did. But she wouldn't even do that. And she wasn't made to tell the truth. There was no pressure put on her to tell the truth. Oh, a little grilling 
tiny bit of grilling. If she would have been grilled more, oh yeah, she would have divulged much more people. What difference does it make? That was her answer. Makes a big difference. If it was you on the other side of that equation. What difference does it make? I'm one of the elite. I can do anything I want to do and get away with it. Not when you stand before the great judge of all. Not when you stand before the white, great white throne judgment of Almighty God. Bind her hand and foot. That's right. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Oh yeah, I got by with that one. That's what she's thinking right now. I got by with that. While she put the whole country at risk. I got by with that one. Got the blood still on my hands, but I got by with that one. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Justice still hasn't been served. Sad thing is that she doesn't even look for mercy. Brothers and sisters, we better wake up. Better realize what's going on here. If it were possible, the very elect could be deceived. We better look to God to vindicate us. Shall not the Lord avenge his elect that cry unto him day and night, though he bear long with them? If you're looking for man to vindicate you, you're going to be in trouble. But if you're looking to the Lord, amen? What does the scripture say? If you're brought before the courts, don't meditate what you're going to say. Right? God will speak. God will give you the words to speak. Hallelujah. I remember one time they brought my pastor in preaching the gospel and they said it was disorderly conduct. So he represented himself in court and he said, Judge or Your Honor, How loud would somebody have to speak in order for someone else not to want to hear it? If it's something they don't want to hear, how loud? And the judge himself said, I suppose a whisper. He said, I rest my case. And he won. Doesn't matter how loud you're saying it, if someone doesn't want to hear it. See, disorderly conduct is not whispering. Are you listening, folks? He wasn't being disorderly. His conduct wasn't disorderly. I was arrested for preaching the gospel, folks, in Portland, Maine, up on the street. And they lied. They told the judge that I had a megaphone. I didn't have a megaphone. They lied under oath. That's what they do. They're corrupt. And they're going to try to shut us down. They're going to try to stop. Satan's going to do everything he can to stop God's voice in this earth, in this world. How many know you can't stop God? You may hinder him. You know, Paul said Satan hindered me. But you can't stop God. We're going to go on and we're going to preach this gospel. We're going to do the will of God. Hallelujah. We're going to overcome Apollyon. Amen. We're going to overcome the dragon. By the blood of the lamb. By the word of our testimony. 
Hallelujah. We're not going not gonna to shrink back and try to save our lives. Even unto death, brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Praise God. Are you ready? Are you ready to give your life? Are you still seeking to save your life? Well, Brother Joseph, I've got to seek to save my life. I can't, you know, i got to go along with the system. If they say I must swear on a Bible, if they say I must swear oaths, if they say I must sign this piece of paper. Folks, I sign certain pieces of paper, but I do it willingly. Nobody makes me do it against my will. But there's coming an hour. Are you listening? That you will not be able to buy or sell in this world if you do not comply. And yes, swear an oath. Are you listening? We're already, for the most part, in this country, most of us have already surrendered our rights. We're already slaves. Slaves. Serps. That's right. What is it that makes us free, folks? What makes you free? Because under Hitler and Auschwitz, it said the way to freedom was work, toil. Work. Work hard. That's the way to freedom. What's the way to freedom, brothers and sisters? Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Not only liberty, but in His kingdom, liberty and justice for all. Not in this world. Hallelujah. Not in this world. We don't want justice right now. We want mercy right now and all the mercy we can get. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. If you have someone in this world that offends you, you have somebody in this world that you could take to court over something, the Bible says, forgive them. Amen. The Bible says, show them mercy. Overcome evil with good. Because you're not bringing them before an incorrupt judicial system. You're bringing them before a very corrupt system that panders to those of this world. Remember, Satan is the god of this world. Don't ever forget it. 